is Yana, and you're watching Finnish Knitting Stories, episode 15. I bet you didn't expect to see me this soon <laughs> back here again. Anyways, here I am. Uh, I'm coming to you from Finland, from my craft room in our home, uh, where I knit and do other things. And this is a video podcast, like my, my little diary, mostly about my knitting, but sometimes other things as well. Um, I'm happy that you're back and that you're watching again. Enjoy. You can find me on Ravelry Esketunits and on Instagram Esketunits. I got inspired... Anyway, do you remember the pile I had here, the pile of finished knits? I blocked it all. Yesterday and the day before, whole floor in the basement was covered in my knits. Sweaters, socks, all, all sorts of things. The socks were actually hanging, but all the sweaters and cardigans were, <coughs> were there on the floor. Um, now I want to show them to you. So, today is Friday, September 10th, and... I did something naughty. I took a half day off. I went in the morning to the store, packed all your wonderful orders and decided that I'm going to take a half day off because why not? I've been working a lot and I just would like to be at home for, for a little bit. And tomorrow is my birthday and I thought, let's, let's, let's have a little treat. <laughs> So I stopped by a bakery, bought a couple of buns for me and hubby to have when he comes home. Uh, kids are going to grandparents today, so no buns for them. Yeah, they will eat buns at the, at the grandma's. <laughs> they always eat buns at the grandma's. Grandma likes to bake a lot. They bake together with our daughter and then, then they all eat the buns. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm having an evening off, so... I decided to record an episode for you and now I'm going to show you all my finished objects. Not all, but just these recent ones. I'll still make a separate episode about all my summer knits and spring knits that, that you missed. Because I was not recording. So, this time I made notes. They are right here that I, I would... <laughs> I'll follow my notes. Okay, the first one. Ta-da! You have seen this before, last winter. This was my... Was it Christmas or... This was my New Year's cast on. I cast it on on New Year's Eve. And I think it's great. It's ready. Look, it, it, it has sleeves. It even has sleeves. The problem is that it was almost ready. It was missing sleeves. And these are not even very long sleeves. I don't know why I, I did not knit them. I didn't feel like. So anyways, look at this beauty. This is so wonderful. This is Snowy Forest by Knit Cafe Midori, and the pattern can be found in Line 10 magazine. Um, it has cables, and the yoke increases are hidden here in the cables. I knit mine in Ketu Yarns Cozy Polwart, which is 100% non superwash polwart, and I paired it together with silk mohair in the same color, which, which is ink. You can see it's a bit, the color is a bit uneven, but I like it. It's actually much darker than appears in the screen, but here. This is wonderful. It fits wonderfully. It's a, it's a bit short. It's a bit shorter version. Yeah, there were two versions, short and long. I'm somewhere in between. I didn't do the very cropped one because I don't wear sweaters like that, but I decided that maybe having a short sweater would be nice. I tried it on before blocking and it felt a bit tight and I was thinking, oh my god, this will look ridiculous. But it blocked out nicely. It actually keeps the shape and now it's nice and and wide. <laughs> I'm talking behind the sweater. I don't know, can you actually hear me? So, yeah. I really, really loved it. Look, it has this double neck. It's like folded down. So it, it's, an, it's a really nice finishing touch. And I love it. I'm ready for winter. <laughs> Took me almost a year to finish it, but sometimes things just don't happen that that fast. Oh well. <laughs> there is no knitting police, right? Nobody's gonna say, I, 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 I should have finished straight away. Nah. Sometimes, sometimes it takes a year, sometimes it takes two years, three years. I don't know, what's the oldest whip that you have in your stash? Let's share our naughty secrets. I don't know how old is actually mine oldest whip, but I could dig it up for the next episode and show it to you, maybe. 
yeah i did i did great thing this summer i went through my yarn and i actually frogged a couple of couple of older projects i i frogged them i knew i'm not going to finish them and now i have weird crinkly yarn balls there in in my cabinet yeah there were a pair of so there was a pair of socks one shawl one beanie and i think even one sweater like half finished sweater so i just decided yes i'm it, it will feel better once once I frog them because I knew I'm not gonna knit them. Okay, next one. Next one is a summer knit that I actually finished in summer, but I, I did not block it. I don't know why. Um, this is scale gra, gra. I don't know. How do you say it? Is there anybody Irish there watching? <laughs> you could fix my pronunciation. I know it's probably not right. But it means a love story in Irish. And I think that's very sweet. I found this pattern on Ravelry and I thought it's really, really wonderful. Look at that. The lace is so, so pretty. And I made a summer version. It's quite wide and it has this kind of hem. What happened here? I don't know what happened there. Anyways, it gets wider and mine is maybe a tad too wide. I would have liked it a bit smaller. But I think... I don't mind. It has, I made the neckline quite loose and big and I used Get to Yarns Silk Merino in color Pixie. This was the new colorway this summer and I'm in love with this lace. I think it's really, really pretty. Look at that. This, this part was very interesting to make. I've never done anything like that before and it was fun. I'm actually thinking it would be nice to have this in a smaller size and with long sleeves and maybe some some other yarn but this drapes nicely because it's half half merino half silk and it's a non superwash merino and I'm really really loving it I don't know maybe the color is a tad too pale for me I'm pale <laughs> the color is pale but okay we will we will survive that I don't know maybe I'll gift it to somebody I don't know I haven't worn it yet but, but I need to ask maybe hubby's auntie likes it. It's more of her color. She's also blonde with, with, with light eyes. And maybe it looks better on her. <laughs> um, yeah, like this. This was lovely. I think I used less than two skeins, less than two skeins of yarn, even though it's this wide. But I, I had quite big needles. Because this was supposed to be a summer knit that I... I did not block while it was still warm. No? Oh well. Next next summer. <laughs> um, next. What do I have next? Oh. This is a thick, warm winter knit. Or autumn knit. Um, the pattern has been on my list for a really long time. And I have decided that I'm going to go through my Ravelry library. Where are all my patterns that I have saved and purchased and maybe start knitting from the other end not the new ones because new patterns keep coming out all the time and I just can't keep up it it feels like there there are too many good patterns so I'm at one point I just stopped following because there are so many great old patterns that I really really want to knit and I fell in love with them once and nothing has really changed I just ran out of time and then the new patterns were piled on top of them and I don't know. Now, now I decided to slow down. Of course, I'm going to knit the new things as well, but I've decided that here and there I'm going to take one of the older patterns that I really, really like and, and knit them. This was one of them. Uh, this is Pretty Little Plie by Vera Valimäki, Finnish knitwear designer, but her patterns are in English, so you can knit this as well if you don't speak Finnish. Um, it's a cardigan. It's a quiet, long, nice cardigan. Um, this is great mindless knit because it only has garter increases and then stockinette sleeves. Nothing much is happening here. It was very easy, very quick. I finished it in less than a week. Um, mine is knit in a budget yarn. Uh, it's Novita. Do I have a ball of it somewhere? Not sure. Anyways, Novita Suomi Villa. You have seen I knit another sweater last year, or this year, from it. I've shown you the yarn. It has cute little sheep on the label. I don't have it here, but yeah. Anyway, 100% finished sheep wool, non-superwash DK weight. 
and I decided that I need some some warm cardigan to wear at work or at home. So this is like my my casual cardigan, just warm and and it smells like sheep. It smells it really smells like sheep. It's wonderful. It's really my favorite yarn by Novita. I think they have done incredibly well on this one. Yeah, it's not the softest. It's it's a bit toothy, but I don't mind. You know me, I don't mind uh toothy yarns. Yeah. Not everything has to be soft in our life. <laughs> yeah. That that's what I think. So the back is also garter. I need mine on big needles that it would be airy, but it's still very, very warm. Actually, I can't keep it on right now because I will be sweating. I will be sweating. But look at it. Mine is big and oversized. Okay, it's not maybe crazy oversized, but it's quite wide. I can put it on top of another sweater. I wanted something so cozy that to be like this whole winter. Okay, now I'm going to take it off. It's really, really warm. But if you're looking for a simple, easy peasy cardigan pattern, I recommend this one. Go check it out. Surprisingly, there is not many, many projects on Ravelry for this. But it's a really, really nice pattern. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. No, I don't remember how much yarn I used for it. This is knit in size medium, but I think my ga gauge was a bit off, so it's more like a large, came out more like a large. I'll add somewhere the total yarn amount, or you can check it check it from my Ravelry, or if you can't, anyway, I'll add it here. <laughs> yes, this one, and the color is wonderful, uh, brown, marled brown, there is a bit of gray in the mix, which this is not typical for me. I usually tend to go for grays, but my my tastes have been switching towards warmer shades. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it looks it looks okay on me, but actually, who cares? It's like a, <laughs> it's 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 a piece for warmth, not not for fashion. <laughs> I like it. I think that's that's the main thing. There. Uh, what else? Then I have a whole pile of socks for you whole pile of socks. Let's start from wonderful home socks that I made for myself. They are more like a slippers. Socks? Slippers? I don't know. I actually have a, two pairs of home socks that I made. Okay, they don't look very presentable on these blockers because mm, these are apricot socks by by my wonderful friend on units. She's, she's lovely. She's on Instagram. She's on Ravelry. Um, and it's her pattern. I made mine more like a slippers, so they are loose here and they are nice and wide and then the bottom will felt a bit when I use them and they match my, my home linen dress. They, they fit wonderfully. The color is just right. And there is beautiful, beautiful lace. It a bit reminds me of, of, of that summer tea, the same, ele same looking element. But these are wonderful and didn't take much yarn to knit them. I think these came out under 50 grams because the yarn was a leftover from another pair of socks. And it's Keto Yarn Scotty Wool Sock in color Vikuna, which means fig. And this, this is size 40. I have big feet. European 40. No idea what's that in American or British, sorry. But it's, it's a big size. <laughs> And I have a sheepy, sheepy little home slippers. Yeah, mine look more like slippers, not like socks. But if you check projects on Ravelry, there are many that actually look like socks. But this was my intention that I make mine into cute little slippers. And this is all with the sweet, look at these sweet little details. Here is a, here is this little gap and... I don't know, it's just lovely. Anna has thought of everything. And I love them, I love them. And I'm gonna wear them a lot. Now I can wear them once I have shown them to you. <laughs> okay, another one is also a pair of home socks for myself. These are very simple, plain vanilla sock, because the yarn, the yarn is doing, ah, the yarn is doing all the work. I dropped the sock. 
um, we got new yarn in the shop this summer and this is Shapies uh, downtown. It's a merino sock yarn and all 18 colors are making these even stripes. They come in all sorts of colors. This color is number 411 Gallery Central. I think, yeah, I got it right. <laughs> um, they come in 50 gram balls. I actually have one here. This is different color. This is After Dark color number 400. This is my next project. I want to knit a pair of socks like this, but I think I will have to buy another ball that I can make along socks. This reminds me of Finnish traditional outfit, national outfit. I don't know why. The skirts are, are maybe... There is some resemblance. This is actually teal green. It looks a bit blue in a screen, but yeah. This is my next. Somewhere on a list. I have a whole bunch of socks that I want to knit. I have this long list of socks that I want to knit and I have even bought yarn and prepared the yarn and it's all there in the line on, on my drawer and hopefully one day I'll tackle that queue of socks. But these are very sweet. I used almost 50 grams for a pair. Again size 40, super big, but look it was surprisingly enough for a shorties, like for a shorties like this. And then I made a pair of socks for our daughter. Because she wanted the stripy socks too. And this is color number 413 Baker's Corner. This is very sweet. And I think it, it, it works also for bigger girls. Not just little girls who like sweets. And delicate colors. This is also plain vanilla sock. Nothing special. I just did the short row heel. Just to see how, how it works out. I think it looks great on this kind of self-striping yarn. Yeah, because here I have a traditional, traditional heel. No, I have a French. I'm not sure what did I do here. I think I have a French heel. Yes, uh, and then it breaks the yarn, and here I I got an even little little stripe. But here I have as well, but maybe it, it looks a bit better with that short row heel. Afterthought heel would be even nicer, but I I don't like knitting those. I don't know why. Oh yeah, and this is super soft. I don't know, it's like the softest thing. The softest thing I have ever tried in a sock yarn, I think. It's really, really, really soft. And of course one ball was enough and I even have a leftover bit. Because these are like size 30. Her feet have grown tremendously, I don't know. Everything is small. Shoes, socks, everything is small again. And then I have... Yeah, and then I have one more pair of socks. Uh, these are <laughs> leftover socks, but I had to get more yarn because I decided to knit them really long and cozy. These will be my awesome super warm winter socks, and I use the leftovers from my weekender sweater that I knit last year. I think last year. And the yarn is Chopel Relict, which, which they make from all sorts of yarn scrap from production. The, not yarn, but like the wool scrap from production. And the color number is 9200M, which is natural. Oh, these are still a bit damp. I blocked them yesterday and they didn't dry. You can even see they are darker here. Oops. No, yeah, because I, I hang them like this on the sock blockers in the bathroom. Bathroom is warm. Um, nothing special here, two by two, rib throughout the whole sock. I also tried something different and I, I put it on a heel the rib and I'm planning to wear them I'm planning to wear them like this they would be almost like leg warmers and socks at, at the same time yeah simple sock didn't use any pattern just just cast on and knit and this yarn is quite thick so I used like three and a half millimeter needles I rarely use those for socks yeah, because I'm a, I'm a loose knitter and I don't like the socks to be too loose because they break and yeah, it's not nice. And stretch out, stretch out if the sock is knit too loose. So I think that's that's about it. Um, that those are all my all my uh, all my finished objects. Gosh, <laughs> I'm forgetting words. 
Um, some of you commented that it was very nice that I was knitting last time while chatting with you, so I decided that I will continue in between. I will knit as well. And now we can go to my sweeps, what I'm currently working on. Yeah, you're not going to believe, but in one week I have cast on two more new things, and today I'm planning to cast on one more, which will make it the third. And, um, yeah, let's go to the Stormtrooper sweater that I showed you last time. The yoke is ready. Look at it. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I think this is a really, really cool sweater. Yeah. I was a bit worried that it's going to be too small for a hobby. I said, ah, never mind. If that's too small, I'll keep this one and you'll get a new one. But it fits just perfectly. We tried it on yesterday and it fits. So now I will just keep knitting on the body and it will be ready in no time because thick yarn and big needles. It will be ready very, very soon. And I'm knitting it with Letloppi, which is Icelandic, Icelandic yarn. 100% sheep wool, non-superwash. I have it in black and white. Marled the black color number 0005 and the white one is 0051 and <laughs> these are really really cool hubby already can't wait but I started a couple of other projects in between so he has to wait anyway today is quite a warm day it was chilly in the morning I had to wear a warmer sweater and now I came home and I had to change because it was really too hot in a sweater with mole hair. I was wearing my other Lento sweater this morning and here's my second Lento. I also blocked it and here it is. What's happening here? I have pulled I have pulled the yarn already while, while talking to you. Um, anyways, this is also Lento Jonna Hietala uh, Laine 11 magazine and mine is knit just in um, DK weight merino. Sock Merino, get to yarns, big sock. And the colorway is Crazy Summer of 2020. Yeah, it's a last year's colorway that I dyed again this year because it was very popular. It's this very weird coral with a hint of orange and a bit of neon pink. I don't know. It depends on the light. Sometimes it looks orange, sometimes it looks pink, but I really like this color. I think it refreshes. It refreshes my face. Refreshes. Is that the word? No. Refreshes. I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, next project. What else? I, I started a call. I started a call for our daughter. Sorry if I'm rushing. I think I have had too much coffee today. Yeah. <laughs> I drink at least two cups a day because I have low blood pressure. I'm suffering from that and so I need at least two cups, sometimes three, and today I have had three, and now I'm talking like this because that one cup was too much. <laughs> um, anyways, I started a little cowl for our daughter, but I think I'm going to frog it. There's nothing wrong with the cowl, but I think it's just too wide. Oh, hubby came home. Um, I had this yarn that I bought a while ago. It's by Finnish Yarn Dyer. Sula. Um, Sula. It's a nani. Yeah. Um, it's a silk, silk merino. It's nice and soft, and uh, the color was was really pretty. And her. It's our daughter's color. So, um, I bought Anna Johanna's pattern named Heina. It came out this this summer. Um, the pattern calls for two different colors of yarn, but I decided I'm going to knit it in one yarn and yeah, just in a single color. Anyway, it's really pretty. It has a lace section, but we tried it on and it's, it's too wide. I already took out two repeats of the lace, but it's still too wide. It's like, it's good for me, but too wide on her. She's a very slim five year, five year old, soon six. She's six next week. Yeah, gosh, time flies. So I'm gonna frog it. I'm gonna take one or one more lace repeat out and knit knit it again. 
but it's gonna be pretty. I don't know why I'm showing this to you, but anyway, work in progress. Yeah, it is kind of my whip, but I'm I'm frogging it. It's very nice. Um, next, what else? Oh, I still have these socks that I was knitting on last time. They need heels. Um, they are on a, on, on they are on a pause because. I need to gather myself together to knit heels. Yeah, I, I need a quiet moment for that. And I had no chance during the week. Here they are. Still love the color. I think it's very fun. It's their aut new autumn color from Novita. And this is Novita Nalle. And I oh, will maybe put the heels in this evening. Or not. <laughs> um, yeah. And... We were talking about the older patterns that I want to knit all the, well, not all, but some of the older patterns that I have purchased or put in my favorites or some of them are even in my library and um, I started one of them. <laughs> I have a favorite cardigan. It's, it's a bought cardigan. I did not knit it myself. Uh, it's a mohair wool blend and it has started to lose mohair here on the, on the elbows and on these on the arms and it's time to retire it but it's my favorite cardigan and I just can't it's nice gray it has more mohair fluff but it's starting to look a bit <laughs> a bit bad so anyway I went through Ravelry and I found the cardigan that looks almost like the one I have now it's a no frills cardigan by Petit Knit. And of course, I even had the pattern. I have had it for years. I bought it, mm, yeah, a while ago. Some years ago when I bought the sweater and the cardigan pattern. And I actually have knit the sweater twice. Twice. Yeah, I have knit the no frills sweater twice. And now I started no frills cardigan. I think it's just really, really sweet. It's really nice cardigan. Here it is. You can see I'm not far along, but it looks promising. And I didn't want it gray. I didn't want it black. So then I started to run out of neutral colors. Maybe not beige, because I started another beige cardigan that I showed you last time. So I picked this very, I don't know. How to even call it? It's not like a dusty rose. It, it's a bit, it's a bit violet. It's a bit pink. It's a bit gray. It's actually one of the summer colorways this year, uh, from Ghetto Yarns, and the color name is Oyster. Uh, I had a bunch of seconds. I sold some, and then I kept four skeins to myself. Yeah, these had minor flaws in them, so I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm hiding those with mohair, and it will be great. And I'm using budget-friendly mohair, which is Drops Kid Silk, their new color number 40, which is a pink pearl. I joined pearl with oyster, and I get I got this dreamy, dreamy color. Look, if you put these two together, you get something, something like this. I think, I think it will work for me. Yeah, my my old cardigan is gray, but it's time for something else. I can't can't be wearing grey cardigans forever, right? And grey. Grey is a bit boring. It's safe, it's nice, but a bit boring. So now now I'm I'm gonna be walking around like this once this is ready. It's a long cardigan. I'm thinking yeah, I'll do the sleeves first and then I'll check how long I can actually make it. I'm aiming somewhere just below the knee. That ideally if I have enough yarn. Um that's my plan <laughs> with the cardigan. Very nice old pattern and I love it. Check you knit the, this band together with the cardigan. I think that that's, that's fun. No need to pick things up later and knit them. Yeah, I think that that's good. That's good. So I have this on my needles. And tomorrow is my birthday and... If you've been watching me last year, you know I have a tradition of buying myself a birthday yarn. Actually, my last year's birthday yarn is still somewhere here in a in a shelf. I'll try to find it now quickly. Here. 
this is a tone dyer plant dyed yarns this wonderful wonderful green walnut and in indigo it's like a wool, wool silk and rami and i plan to knit a pair of socks from this this yarn i bought for myself last year and the problem is i still have not found a pattern because the color is uneven it's yellow green in some places a bit bluish and I want that the yarn would shine so I need a really simple pattern for this and I have no idea I have many sock patterns on my list but none of them really feel suitable so if you have a suggestion please leave it down below that would be great if you can find, help me to find that nice pattern for, for this beautiful yarn. That's my last year's birthday yarn. And my last year's birthday knit was a Gloam cardigan. I also took it here with me, if you remember. I knitted in Yak Merino. I have worn it a lot. It's, it's one of my favorite pieces. So I knit this last year for my birthday. It's like... I make a gift for myself every year. I try. It's it's a new tradition. I've been doing it for three years now. Uh, this year will be the third year. So, yeah, here is my gloom from last year. Uh, loved it. It's by Boyla Boyland Networks, Caitlin Hunter, if I'm not mistaken. I think yes. Yes. And this year I decided, okay, it was Tuesday when I decided, okay, I need a birthday yarn. I've been dreaming about a yarn for a really, really long time, and I did not have a good reason to buy it. I, um, uh, anyways, <laughs> this Tuesday I ordered myself some yarn, and I thought, okay, it will come after my birthday. My birthday is on Saturday, so it's okay if it comes next week. Not gonna be upset about it. And you're not going to believe when a courier called on Thursday, yesterday, and asked, Oh, are you home? I have a package for you. I asked, do you mean like for the shop? No, like for your home address. Uh, okay, like <laughs> you can drop it off here. Um, my yarn came from Italy in just two days. Come on, in Finland it sometimes takes longer. And I got my birthday yarn. From Italy in two days from Italy to Finland for like really I don't know they have some magic service but I don't know <laughs> does this look familiar <laughs> it's a little yak oh my god my battery is running low I need to speed it up <laughs> or go recharge we'll see now uh, I got my got myself some baby yak lace I don't know can you guess what I'm gonna knit Oh, this is not my color at all, but this is. This is oatmeal, and this is mustard, and you can see it peeking right there. This is the yarn I bought from Yuvaskula Knit Festival in 2019. <laughs> this is dusty pink, isn't it? Yes. And these beauties will become the Girl's Best Friend Shawl by Isabel Kramer. Mercury. Yeah, um, I've been dreaming about that shawl, but I could not find the right, right yarn. And I saw projects that were made with yak, but then I was thinking, okay, that's that's a bit too much. I always think that okay, maybe I don't deserve so nice stuff, and I can knit with something cheaper. But I had these, and the original idea, actually, I bought these from from Yuvaskula knit fest two two years ago then i ordered these from tt2 last year the idea was that i wanted to make a stripy sweater like this and the oatmeal came in a lighter color uh, the yak this is a natural undyed yak and sometimes it's lighter sometimes it's darker and there's nothing you can do it's a natural feature of wool and i got two different oatmeals it's the same colorway, but then I decided, okay, the three colors is a bit much for a sweater. I just wanted a two-color stripe, so I put it on hold. Yeah, so I have now three skeins of this lighter one, two skeins of mustard, and two skeins of dusty pink. 
And this will be my very special birthday shawl this year. I think I need a little treat. Yeah, it took me three years to gather this wonderful yarn, but no, two. 2019, two years to gather <laughs> this wonderful yarn, but now I have enough for a shawl. I'm gonna hold it double because I think the shawl is for a fingering weight and this is lace. And I'm very tempted to cast it on today. Yeah, that, that I can knit it tomorrow morning when I wake up. We'll see. That this would involve a lot of caking. Not my favorite thing, but yeah, we'll see. These are wonderful. They are so, so, so warm and soft and luxurious and a pure dream. So, two years of waiting and now I will finally get what I've, I've been dreaming about. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. And then I have this little extra skin which is also oatmeal, and I was thinking of knitting a beanie for myself. Just very thin, nice yak beanie. I even found a pattern on Ravelry. I don't remember the name of it, but it was a great, very simple, basic pattern. Let's see, but I still have time for that. <laughs> I will start with the shawl, just because the color combo is dreamy. It's around the same color combo as in the, in the pattern. Pattern uses some different yarn, I don't remember what, but this is gonna be mine. The labels are making noise here. So, thank you people of my yak, you, you really made my day yesterday, my week. <laughs> A speedy service I, I recommend, like, big thumbs up. Yay! And I think if you order, if you live in US, they ship from, from US, from New York, where they have their showroom and office. Yes. And for Europe, they ship from Italy. So, and I think nobody in Finland sells my yak anymore, which is a sad part because it's it's a very nice yarn. Yeah, it's 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 it, it's luxurious, but it's very nice. But we can treat ourselves from time to time, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have talked for almost forty minutes now, I think, and. It's actually time for me to go make dinner and cake my yak. <laughs> cake my yak. That sounds <laughs> that sounds interesting. Um, I'm gonna go and and knit a bit. And I hope you do too. And tomorrow is my birthday. I'm still not sure what we're doing. Kids are coming back. Maybe with with cake. They will probably bake a cake with grandma. And we will have a small celebration just family and next week is our daughter's birthday she's turning six gosh time flies anyways um i think i'm thinking of another cup of coffee almost <laughs> not good for me maybe i have had enough but i'm i took the stormtrooper sweater because it feels weird when my 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 hands are empty if i sit i knit I have it written on so many things that me sits me needs. Yeah, and it was nice spending these 40 minutes with you and I hope we will see very soon. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy yourself, knit something or not. Maybe maybe go pick some mushrooms if you're in the area with mushrooms. We have a lot of them this year. Yeah, we have them just in our backyard. Yeah, we 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 just pick the whole whole basket full of mushrooms from the backyard um yep okay i'll see you very soon thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and hip hop